Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Today we are talking about light groups in Redshift. Light groups provide flexibility to your compositing workflow. They give you endless creative freedom and save you a ton of time. So let's jump in and see what it's all about. Okay, everyone. So today we are talking about light groups inside of Redshift. Now, what are light groups? If you're not familiar, light groups are basically a way of rendering each of your lights separately. Okay, now that is incredibly powerful when it comes to compositing and potentially saving you some time in the future, uh, avoiding a re-render. Um, now, what does that mean? That means that if you have each light individually rendered, um, you can essentially reassemble it and composite and build it kind of however you want. So what I'm going to do is the first part is I'm going to walk you through just how to do it, how to set it up. And then the second part, I'm going to actually show you how to put it to use uh, in compositing. Um, so let's just go ahead and start. So in this scene, what I have is I have uh, four lights that are area lights and I have two dome lights. All right. So let's just go ahead and walk through each light. So I'm going to turn most of these off and then I'll go through them one by one because ultimately that's what we're doing. We're trying to render each light out one by one. So what I have here is I have a red rim light um, that is... Uh, yeah, kind of highlighting the devil back here. Um, next, I have a red light that is actually hitting the devil, right? So it's it's supposed to be kind of evil and whatever. Um, so that's what this light is doing. Then I have a key light for um, Mary that's over here that's actually, uh, yeah, supposed to be like the good person, I guess. Um, so her light is nice and white. And then I have one other light over here that's just for the devil's face because I wanted to kind of make him kind of mysterious. So I have just like a, a very pinpointed light that's that's hitting his face. Now, also, I have a couple dome lights in here. And one of them is mostly just acting as the background. So if I, uh, you'll see it's casting a little bit of spill. It's also acting as like a rim light, but it's also mostly acting as a background. And then I have another one that's acting as our fill light, kind of giving us that purpley uh, blue spill. Um, so when we combine them all, we get everything, which is great. And ultimately, this is our goal in comp. So let's go ahead and do this. So how do we get our light groups? So to get the light groups incredibly easy, what you want to do is, first of all, you want to decide how you want to break them up. Now, um, I've already decided that I want to, each of these is going to get its own light group, but you can combine if you want, which I'll show you. So you want to click on the light and you want to go to details and under light group, you have AOV light group. And we're just going to add a new light group. Okay. And we're going to call this one exactly what the light is called. Now you can call it anything you want, but just for our sake, we're just going to do that. Uh, let's go to this one, uh, the Mary key. And just so we remember, we are going to call this Mary key. Oops. Mary key and so on. So let's do the red devil. So let's add a new light group. Red Devil, fantastic. And then let's go ahead and do a rim and let's say Red Rim. All right, now if you wanna combine, um, I'll show you how to do that. So basically let's go and select both dome lights because I don't think we need these separate. They're so kind of working together. I don't think it's necessary. So let's go ahead and select them both. Um, you don't have to select them both at once. You can do it either way. Um, so let's go ahead and let's say add a new light group and we're just gonna call this dome, okay? So now when we go here, we're gonna have dome and dome. Now, if you wanna switch them, it's as simple as just saying, oh, you know what? I actually want this to be on the Mary key, right? But for now, we're gonna put them both back to dome, okay? Now that we have our, our light groups um, uh, situated, let's go ahead and figure out how to render them. So let's go to our render settings. I'm gonna turn off my IPR so I save some some exercise for my computer. And then let's go to our Redshift tab. We wanna click on Advanced, okay? And then we actually wanna to go to our AOV tab because all this happens in our AOV. So let's go to Show AOV Manager. All right, so inside our AOVs, what we wanna do is we wanna select what passes we want. So to make it simple, we're just gonna go with the beauty for now. So let's go ahead and drag in the beauty. And you'll see over here what we have is we have um, some some extra options, right? And we have the option to select our light groups. And we can choose to have the beauty only render the devil face and maybe the Mary key. So what it would do is it would give you two additional passes. It's gonna give you the beauty pass, but it's also gonna give you these two additional passes um, that is the beauty of just those lights. Basically what I was showing you just a couple seconds ago. 
For our purposes, we're gonna say all light groups. So we want them, I'm gonna go and turn these off, and then we want these all to be on. Okay, now you, you can do this for anything, and this is where it's like so incredibly powerful. So you could take, you can take your diffuse lighting, and I can come in here for my diffuse. Once again, I can choose whichever one I want. We're gonna do all. You can take your spec, you can take your reflections, all, all, all. Let's just take our spec. Great, great, great. And let's set it to all. So now what it's gonna do, which I'm about to show you, is it's gonna render all these as separate passes. So you're gonna get your specular lighting, but you're also gonna get additional, you're gonna get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five extra passes of specular lighting. That's just gonna be from those lights. All right, so I'm gonna render this and we're gonna hop into comp. All right, so now it's time to move everything into comp, and comp is where you're really gonna get your money's worth out of light groups, right? Because that's the whole point is to have control after the fact. So what I have here is I have the five lights that we rendered out, and these are all the beauty passes of the light. So I have the dome, I have the key of Mary, I have the face, we have the red brim, and then we also have um, just the red devil key, right? And so when we combine all that, we basically get our, our hero pass, our, our main beauty pass, but they're all combined. So all I'm doing is I'm just taking the dome light, I have that on normal, I'm putting everything to add. Now where this really comes in incredibly handy is I can do whatever I want now with this, right? If I wanna make the devil not red, I can make the devil not red, like super easy. If I just wanna have like Mary, oops, sorry. If I just wanna have Mary, uh, maybe, and I, now all of a sudden I want this scene to be dark and moody, right? I have the control to do that. I can do that no problem. Or maybe maybe we want to, uh, let's make it like a whole different color. Let's, let's come over here and let's just take our dome light and let's go and, I don't know, we could go super evil. <laughs> But let's let's try to do something, uh, I don't know, something like this or something. And then <clears throat> maybe now to complement the purple, maybe we wanna, let's just copy this tint. All right, so let's go ahead and take this tint and let's apply it to the devil. But like, let's, let's make him like a, a nice orange or something to maybe complement uh, the purple that we've done. All right, so something in here maybe. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna copy it also to the other red. And then maybe, um, let's say maybe like the devil's face, maybe maybe now, I mean, we could make it orange, right? We, we, could, we could take this pass only, or heck, we could just turn that off if we want to, but it kind of loses something when we do that, right? So let's go ahead and take this and maybe, I don't know, maybe this is red. Like what would happen if this were red? Or maybe it's like a different shade of this orange. Something like that. And then let's go ahead and let's take Mary. And see, now we're kind of getting in the ballpark of something that's starting to look nice, right? So let's take Mary and maybe she is just slightly... I don't know, what would she look like if she was like a bluish color? Now we're getting into kind of like some cool like Patrick Clare title sequences or something where it's like crazy colors. Um, but like maybe, maybe she just has kind of a, yeah, something in here maybe with like a little less saturation. So the point is, is you have control, right? Um, of course this needs some finessing, etc. but you have control to kind of get it where you want. So I'm going to stick with colors that are kind of complementary right now. And then I think that maybe we'll take this this dome and let's actually make this a little less and maybe something something in here maybe something that kind of is pleasing to the eye. So essentially, we went from well, let's pull up the beauty. We went from this to this, right? So we were able to do that quick very quick and that's what's so powerful about it right again we could we can make this dark and moody no problem now oh you know what the client comes back and they say they want his face to be we want this red undertone here now it's so easy and there's so much control and i really really um i find it useful for a lot of things and another thing that i find it useful for is animating actually so if you want something to come out of the dark right so let's say that like mary um, or maybe whatever, let's do the devil or something like maybe he comes out of the dark. I got to see how my passes are set up. Hold on. If Mary is hitting him. Yeah, Mary might be hitting him too much right now. But you could you potentially you could um, you could subtract him. Right. Feather him out. This might look like crap. I haven't tried this yet. Yeah. And then you could. Uh, 
what would happen if I then turn this down? This might look terrible. I'm not sure. Yeah, so you can kind of like, you know, maybe he could come out of the darkness and then let's subtract this even more. It's because the dome light actually, I think, needs another mask. But you get the idea. So you could you could come in here and then, oops, let's go ahead and say none. And so he could come up. He could actually come up from the darkness, right, if you wanted to. So you'd have to do a little bit of animating and I'd have to set a black background here. So let's go and go subtract. And then let's take this black background here. Let's put it down here. And then now I can have old devil boy coming from the background, right? You would just have to animate this out, feather it out nicely. And then perhaps maybe his highlights come up first, you know, like maybe he's coming out from the dark like this. There's options, right? You have options and to do this in CG, well, this is expensive, right? You'd have to go back in, you'd have to render, maybe it doesn't look good, maybe it does, um, but you, you now have the flexibility to actually provide different options for the client and provide different uh, looks for the client at seemingly little expense. Um, so I, I, I really recommend it for animation. Uh, that's another thing for like, again, if you want titles to come out of the darkness or something, this is a great way to do it, right? Um, this is a super great way to just have something be um, controllable, right? You can control it really easy. I mean, you can see how quickly and you can even like change the vibe of the scene. Like if we um, if we just want to have Mary's face a little bit more spotlit here or something, you know, we can do that super simple. Um, so the possibilities are endless. And as long as you set it upright and think about it, uh, kind of how you want to do it and what story you want to tell from the start and know like kind of like where you want to go with it, then the possibilities are kind of endless. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to show you is I rendered out like a zillion passes here. I don't know if you remember, but we, we took the we took the spec and everything and we also added that. So I just kind of want to show you what that is. So basically, uh, for instance, my GI, I have the two red GIs and then I have the white GI. I have the reflections. Um, oh, I didn't do the reflections. I have the specular of the dome, right? And I have the specular of only the red and on only the other red and only the other white uh, face. So you get the idea. Basically, we have full control over everything that we want and you can rebuild this however you want. Um, and the possibilities are kind of endless. So um, having said that, that's kind of it. Uh, it's super powerful and I hope that this has helped you and I will see you on the next one.